Hello, so welcome to the channel. I've got a couple more AppSumo deals for you and we're going to start straight away with one that's an AI video editor. It's called One Take AI and I'm just recording this on my mobile phone. I'm not wearing a microphone. What you're seeing and hearing now is recorded straight to the phone. What I'm now going to do is take a section of this and throw it into One Take AI and the idea of this software is that it will scan it and edit the video. So for example, I just coughed. In theory, you shouldn't see that because it should have edited that out. It's a very cool idea because what it's also doing is throwing up these texts, the text and the graphics, and it's moving things around and adding animations and all that kind of stuff so that in theory, you can just record yourself on a phone or camera, give it the footage and let it do the editing. Now I've tried this a couple of times and so far I haven't had an output that has been 100% perfect. I've wanted to do some editing. So this deal shows some promise and I'll show you the interface in a minute. So before I show you the interface of One Take AI, I just want to touch on another deal that I'm playing with at the moment. And that's something that's going to help me hopefully put out some really great Facebook ads. So the second tool I'm looking at this month is called Ad Copy, also available on AppSumo. And I've recently started a new business, Clicksony, and I may want to do some advertising on Facebook, but it's not something I've really done too much of. And this tool aims to help you with that. So it's a very simple tool. It looks like there's not much to it, but it, it's looking pretty good. And I just first want to shout out the support team because I had a few issues getting set up. And you can see here quite a few chats back and forth. The team have been pretty responsive. They got back to me within 24 hours. There is a time difference. I'm in the UK. I assume they're in america and they have solved my problems and got me up and running so that was really great to see them being supportive but it's um <laughs> it's pretty simple actually you if we go to the create section there's these five steps that need to be done in order to create adverts for you you've got to come up with an offer select the kind of copy add some creatives and make sure that you are integrated with your Facebook ad account. So you do need an ad account to begin with. Once you link with your Facebook ad account, they will import your metrics so that they can understand your previous ad campaigns and can potentially rewrite some of them to perform better. So before you get started, you're going to have to come up with an offer and you pop your URL in so that can be your product page, your landing page, your website, whatever. Give it a name, the target audience, additional info, and you can upload an image. So that's super helpful if you've got uh, physical products and you want to upload a picture of it. Then to get started, you'll select your offer. You'll select the kind of copy you want. So short, longer, testimonial. You will select the copy purpose. So let's say acquire new. Copy variations up to three, six, nine, 15, and 15 variations cost five generations. You can see on the plan I've got, I had a hundred generations and I've already been using some up. How we can include emojis. So let's take that back down to six. Then you can add some creatives. So you can add up to five creatives of your making. Uh, it doesn't make them or suggest them. Uh, one slightly frustrating thing is you have to upload them every time. There's no repository where you can select them uh, to use again. Uh, there's ad settings, so you can select a language and creative amplifier. Integration is done, so we just hit generate. What it's doing now is scanning the website, taking the inputs I've given, and it will generate a range of adverts that we can then publish directly to Facebook. While it's doing that, let me just show you the plans available. So I've got the very lowest plan, which is 100 generations, one user and one brand hub. If you're an agency and you like the look of this, the top end plan is uh, just over $300 and that gets you a thousand monthly ad generation credits with unlimited users and importantly, unlimited brand hubs because you'll create one brand hub for each uh, client. So if you've got multiple clients, you probably just want to go straight for that top end uh, option. So heading back over, we can see that it's generated six ads and it's mixed up the different creatives and put in text. You can't actually edit these in this section. You would have to launch them. And when you hit launch, you can pop in the destination URL, the budget. Um, now, this is interesting. I asked them about this. 
this says five US dollars, but they've told me that actually because my ad account runs in British pounds, when it goes through, it would be five pounds. They just haven't done anything to reflect that on this interface. Give campaign a name, you know, enter all these details. It'll give you an estimated daily spend. You hit review launch details. And when you launch it, it will push these out into your ad manager. So here's some, now I've only just launched this, so I don't know how effective these are going to be just yet because I've literally launched these today, but you can see it's pushed them in, it's set, set up the campaign, and then it's set up the ad sets, and then it's set up the ads as well. Looks like I've got some recommendations I need to look at. It's set up the budget, and then you can go in here and you can edit and manage this as you normally would. So at the moment you can't do any management within ad copy, that may come soon. Remember this is, uh, you know, fairly new product and you're buying into this uh, early offer, but it's well worth taking a look. Uh, so if, unlike me, you are doing Facebook ads, you can also pull in your Facebook ads and do some rewrites to rewrite the copy. And then you could republish and basically test them out and see if ad copy has provided you with better options. The history section gives you a history of all the copy that's been generated. If you want to grab that and reuse it, and then the offer section is where you build your offers. And then in the settings, you get to set up your brand with the logo and the colors. And you can see I can only do one brand. I'd have to upgrade if I wanted to create multiple brands. So like I say, if you're a, an agency, this is a great deal to grab the limited brands section. And then you could add your client's brands in and run adverts on their behalf. So far, very positive impressions. Time will tell if this proves to be very helpful to me as an agency owner, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but now let me show you behind the scenes of OneClip AI and how that works to edit your videos. So you start by giving the platform information about yourself and your company, and then you can use that to help write video scripts. So you can go into the chat section, tell you want a video script, explain what you want it to cover, and it will go ahead and write a script for you. You're then ready to record your video. In this case, I'm copying the script, pasting it into Big View, tidying it up a little bit, and then hitting the record button. Big View, if you don't know, is a brilliant teleprompting app, and it's quite often back on AppSumo. For your business, outsourcing your blog writing. Once you've got your recorded video, you head over to OneTake, start a new project, give it a title, select the colors, and also select the aspect ratio. One of the nice things about this is it won't just do the landscape stuff, you can do portrait as well. So get your file, upload it. You can't upload multiple files, so if you want to put a few of these together, the best thing to do would be to merge them first and then put them up. You'll notice on the right, we've got this magic button. That's what kicks things off. And down the bottom, you can have translations depending on the plan you've got. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna hit magic button. This will now go to work on analyzing, extracting, and creating your new video. And it will generally take as long as the length of your video. So if you've got a five minute video, go get a drink and wait five minutes and then come back. Once it's done, you can preview it. It will have this weird made in one take splash screen, but that isn't present when you actually download the video for use on your own social media. You can then make some adjustments. You can see the adjust the look until you love it sections and to play around with those till you find your style. I actually find out of the box, everything was set up and looked really good. So I didn't really feel a need to mess around with any of this. But what's very cool is the option to now preview your video and see all the changes that's been made and then spot any problems that might need editing out. To do that, you simply click, I want to change the script, head over to the editor, click the advanced editor. And when you edit the script by removing a line, by deleting it, it will also remove the corresponding visual element to it. So which tool do you prefer? What do you think to both of them? I'll put affiliate links down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video.